go. During the battle of Big Bottom, it is rumored that General Lucius Powers' troops were running low on ammunition. They kept on fighting, ripping the buttons off their jackets, and shooting them at the enemy. And if you believe that... Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flare Mouse. Today we have some interesting projectiles sent to us by Anthony from California. Yes, these are military buttons. He also sent some very strong copper cabling, which we will bundle these together. There's about 15 buttons per load. Each uh, load equals about one ounce. I also loaded one shell that are not bound together at all, so it'll be interesting to see how they flutter through the air and what kind of damage they do. Hello again, Talflator folks. Here we are again, Danny with uh, Jeff from Talflator Mouse. Today we're going to shoot some military buttons sent to us by Anthony. Uh, we've got some that are running free here, and then we have some that are bundled with a copper wire. There's about one ounce of buttons in each, about 15 buttons. So we're going to see how they fly. Safety. Here we go. <laughs> it went Ow. through them. I think it went through them. Here we go. You never know where the point of aim is going to be when you shoot these very unconventional shotgun loads. This one shot a little bit high. This went right through that Kevlar vest, pulling that Kevlar fiber right through Doug the dummy. But remarkably, the slug traveled pretty straight through the air, so it's looking pretty good. I wonder if this is exit here. Yeah, the slug went through, just nicked the edge. Not very accurate so far, because he was aiming there. Pulled through there, went through the, over the top of this Kevlar vest, and out the back mm -hmm. somewhere. Dang it! In this shot, Danny brought his point of aim down a few inches, yet it was still shot a little bit high. But once again, that slug was flying through the air, rather stable. I didn't expect that. I was expecting these things just to tumble all over the place. So that's uh, very odd to me. So well, here's another wire wound button load. Okay, I'm ready when you are. All right, here we go. Dang it. Those things sound like a rifle round, man. It did. I was holding right about here. Why <laughs> and it shot that high, huh? Yeah. Okay, at least you're figuring out where to aim. But uh, yeah, you hit the uh, oh the purple God. circle there. Well, there's something down in there. But it's about... It's pretty deep. Inch, inch and a quarter deep. I don't think we're going to dig that out of there today. I don't think so. But it's, they're holding together with that 300 pound uh, test line, that copper line. Not bad at all, man. Danny brought his point of aim down a few more inches. Now he's right on target. Again, the slug is traveling straight through the air like it was meant to be uh, shot out of a shotgun. Uh, very strange. This slug is neither nose heavy nor tail heavy, and it's just that odd shape of the stack of buttons that somehow make these things stable in flight. They're not the most inaccurate rounds we've ever shot. Definitely no, a not, very unique they're though. They're not terrible. Yeah, okay, we, I'm ready when you are. All right, let's play a little Misty on the radio. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Pretty accurate, right dead center. I wasn't really sure what to expect with these things. I was expecting we'd be able to hit a large object with them at 10 yards, but I didn't expect them to be stable and I didn't expect them to be accurate. What's noteworthy about this shot is that when it impacted, it actually ripped the copper wire apart, setting all those buttons free. You can imagine if you shot a wild boar with one of these and those buttons just turned into shrapnel inside of it, just slicing and dicing and mincing and whatever. I'm 
with that hole saw. Oh! Yeah. I don't think you'll be playing the PGs on that no more. Nah. Yep. Okay, now we got the scatter load. No, they aren't bound, bound together. Should be quite impressive. And we'll shoot drywall in Jane Mansfield. Why not? Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. All right. Here we go. Dang it. Headshot. Headshot. Here we go. The way those others were shooting, my point of aim was about here because they were shooting a kind of a high left. So I got about two here, one here. Probably there was two like here, 18 of those things in there. Here, so one here, one here. See this? This one went, went through sideways through the drywaller. Oh yeah. It's like a coin slot. Button hold it. So it's, it went through the drywall, so they're not good for home defense, right? Uh. Unless it's at your neighbor's according, house. According to the internet. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty devastating for uh, about 10, 12 yards or so. Yeah. Not bad. At 10 yards, these things had a pretty atrocious spread. However, we hit the target with numerous buttons. While many of the buttons are tumbling, watch how many are flying just straight through the air and it's got to be that the shape of the button with that bulge in the center that kind of resembles that 1950s classic UFO shape I don't know but it's always fun coming home and watching the uh, high-speed footage and seeing what's happening because when we're filming it we really have no clue what's going on I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and thank you to all my patreon supporters for your support